All right, guys, so let's talk about setup. A couple things that you want to remember when preparing to set up for Hotel Prius. In order to be successful, you're going to keep in mind a couple different things. One of those things is it's important to stay organized. Hotel Prius isn't one of those lifestyles where you can come home from a long day and throw your stuff on the bed. It's just already limited enough. It really doesn't, there's not a lot of room for being messy and kind of sloppy. The other thing that you want to remember is creating systems. What makes Hotel Prius work, especially with such a small space, is someone who can come in, develop systems, and then stay consistent with those systems. Just like with cooking food, all right? The first time that you cook a dish, chances are you're probably kind of sloppy, you're fumbling around, can't find things, you're looking for things. As time goes on, as you get to know that dish a little bit more, and you make it a little bit more, you become faster, you become more efficient. That's exactly the same concept with Hotel Prius, creating those systems, and then lastly, staying consistent with those systems. It's really important that once you develop a routine, you stick with that routine. Um, it's just gonna make you faster and more efficient in the long run. All right, so here's what I'd like to do. Um, we're gonna kinda go in reverse order, starting with the stove, then moving to the closet, and then jumping into the bed and a couple other extra things. All right, we're gonna start with the stove, kinda my favorite part about Hotel Prius. So go ahead, grab that whiteboard that we talked about earlier. Hopefully you've already got it cut. We've got 30 by 24 inches. And go ahead and drill your holes. One thing I didn't mention is we do want to leave a little bit of room here, probably about an inch, inch and a quarter for those carabiners, just because in time these do wear and crack. And so you want to kind of leave a little bit of room in order to make it last a little bit longer. The reason I chose whiteboard is just because it provides a nice smooth and even surface for easy sliding. All right, so get that board, carabiners out, whiteboard facing up, and we're going to go ahead and stick that right here in between the wheel well and the carpet itself. So that's just going to make it real nice, real easy. That's going to be your pull-out table for your stove. Next thing, grab your stove. All right, we're going to go ahead and sit that guy right there. Um, and you'll use your propane and what I like to do is I like to kind of keep it in this little nook right here with a couple other things but I'll go into that a little bit later next go ahead and grab those quart containers that we talked about we've got the show off here and then we've got that six quart container um, which is just going to serve as kind of your cookware so I've got everything from forks knives spoons salt and pepper shakers can openers I got a little bit of olive oil I got some dishwashing soap a couple of measuring cups oh and one thing I didn't mention is these are kind of cool and kind of handy I uh, picked this guy up at Walgreens it's one of those weekly medicine things um, I went ahead and filled it with some spices for nice and easy cooking it was 99 cents um, I take the extra spices and I keep it in my pantry just for when I need it to be full without having that extra bulk these are perfect for that so take that six quart container go ahead and stick it right here and then we've got our show off, which is just gonna be pots, pans, bowl, and then water, and whatever else you can kind of fit in this guy. I like to have this where it's just quick and accessible for when I'm cooking, pull out the table, just get started. All right, and then the last thing, grab that suitcase. Again, hard top, just because it's gonna provide a nice desk. You're gonna go ahead and fill it just with really whatever you want, um, but anything from extra shorts, socks, t-shirts, underwear, and then there you go. All right, now we move on to our closet. Um, this one's pretty easy. Um, again, something I'm kind of proud of. Real cheap, real easy to do. That dowel rod that you picked up at Home Depot, um, measuring 40 inches. What we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to stick each end between these guys. Go ahead and put these down. Put one on one side like that and one on the other side like that. So they're going to fit right here on this little hook and on this little hook. So we'll go ahead and do this side first. Go ahead and put that about right there. We'll come to the other side, kind of give it a little squeeze. Boom. Just kind of click into place. Nice and strong, nice and sturdy. It's going to hold real well. All right, the next thing, this area right here behind the driver's seat, that's going to be used as some extra storage space as well. So go ahead and grab one of those 15 quart containers. This one's going to be used for your car essentials. All right. Um, just kind of give you some examples of what I got in here. I got some straps. I got a, my drill. I kind of got some armor all kind of to clean up and stuff. I got some bungee cords, extra batteries, duct tape, of course, much needed, extra straps. I got gloves, phone chargers, hair cord, just kind of a miscellaneous box for things that I might need um, kind of while traveling or uh, on the road. All right, so that's going to go right here, kind of nice and snug. Um, and then you'll have kind of a little extra space. What I like to use that for um, 
on my little slip-ons for when it's muddy and I don't really feel like getting my nice shoes dirty so I'll just kind of keep those right there. Um, on top of that you're going to go ahead and install kind of the two fold-out containers that we talked about earlier. One of those is going to just kind of be um, the accessible clothes that you use often. At least that's what I use it for. So I've got jeans, extra shirts, work clothes, that kind of thing. So it's nice and accessible when I just need to throw on a new shirt or whatever. I put that one there and then I've got my laundry bag with my you know my bleach, my Tide Pods, dryer sheets, spray and wash, all that good stuff fits on the bottom and I've got my laundry bag that fits right over the top like that. That's gonna fit right there. All right, now that we've got the curtain rod in place, it's time to hang our clothes. I'm gonna go ahead and stick these right here like that. What I like to do is I picked up one of these um, little pan hangers. Um, I think I got it at Target and I use it as my towel holder. And that'll just kind of fit right there, like that. There you go, there's your closet. All right guys, now for the fun part, the bed itself. So the first thing that you wanna go ahead and do is bring this front seat forward about as far as it can go. Um, it won't stay that way, but we can adjust it a little bit later. And then the next thing we wanna do in the back seat, this is where we wanna install um, both of our kind of big Tupperware containers. The first one being the basement, where you're gonna store just some extra clothes, extra shoes, things you don't necessarily need right off the bat. Um, I've got swim trunks in here. Um, getting into the winter season, there's a couple of clothes and items that I'm not gonna need right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that guy right in here, like that. And then the next thing I wanna do is add the pantry. Again, this is kinda where I keep my extra spices and just some foods, spaghetti noodles, sauce, things that aren't gonna go bad. I'm gonna put that right here. The next thing I wanna do is go ahead and bring this seat down, removing kinda the the seat belt that's attached like so and as you can see kind of fits perfectly in there like that there is a little gap but I'll show you what to do with that next all right remember that foam pad that we talked about so that's gonna go in first that's gonna kind of serve as just again that extra cushion it's just gonna make things a little softer a little bit more comfortable so go ahead measure out what you need use a box cutter to cut around it's nice and snug there goes the full length all the way up to the passenger seat. What I went ahead and did, I left a little bit of room right here. And what I used for that is actually a fold out chair. I'm one of those kind of camping chairs. What that does is slide right in there just to give me that nice chair to have going on the road. All right, next is the comforter. I didn't really add this into the things you're gonna need in the materials video, just because I assume you already had it. I went ahead and folded this into thirds. So there you go. Nice little comforter, make it look nice. Stick a little pillow in there. And then the last thing that you wanna do is your sleeping pad. All right, nice and firm. It's kind of a small detail, but because I'm folding it into thirds, I like to have the flat on this side. I like to kind of tuck it underneath the comforter. I like to kind of give it a little a little tuck, a little extra security, make sure it stays in there and doesn't move around. There we go. A nice, comfortable mattress pad. And of course, add the pillow, and there you have it. Oh, and I almost forgot, sleeping bag. Very important thing to have. This is actually what I sleep out of most of the time. I don't actually use this. This is just cushion um, and to make it look colorful and nice. Um, go ahead and invest or borrow a friend's sleeping bag. I have a couple of different ones just because I've always enjoyed camping and all that good stuff. So I have a couple different sizes and a couple different kinds. So this is my Primaloft 35 degree. I also have a down zero degree sleeping bag. So when it gets really cold, these are kind of key, but in the summertime or in the fall, I use a smaller one. This can keep me warm up to about 35 degrees. And so this is kind of what I sleep out of. I just roll it up, put it in its bag, and then I'll maybe Okay, maybe like right there. All right, cool. Let's talk about the passenger seat. Believe it or not, Hotel Prius doesn't really utilize the front seat 
all that much. You would think that if you're going to be living out of your car that the front seat would actually be pretty full. I don't like it that way just because the front window isn't as tinted as the back windows. So I just kind of try to leave this as empty as possible. So what I'll do is kind of push the seat back as far as it'll go. Really the only thing that's going to fit in the front seat is my day pack, which I most of the time carry with me, especially when I leave the car. When I was living in Austin, my car actually got broken into and they stole everything. They stole my laptop. They stole my camera gear, they stole my GoPro, um, they stole tons of footage, they stole my backup hard drives, all because it was in here and I was traveling across the country. I learned from my lesson, I'm not going to do that again, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this guy with me at all times. So that'll kind of fit right here. And then the last two pieces of Tupperware. Again, we got your six quart container and the 15 quart container. This six quart container, this is my miscellaneous box. I got needle and thread, I got a headlamp which I actually put right there. Lighters, measuring tape, extra iPhone stuff, bike lights, mosquito repellent, extra carabiners, an extra plug, pack of cards, a knife, wine key, iodine tablets for when I pure, I mean, just kind of anything and everything that I may need while on the road. So that's gonna go first, right there on the bottom. And then this is gonna be my snack box. I put kind of my bread in here for in the morning, put like candy or chips or whatever, just for when I'm driving, I just wanna snack on something, granola bars, that kind of thing. Sometimes my cereal. All right, so that's it. That's what the passenger seat looks like. Quick and easy, so when people kind of look in, that bag won't be there, they don't really see much because I kind of keep this area nice and clean. All right, last thing, we're gonna talk about curtains. All right, so next we're gonna talk about the most important safety feature that we're gonna need, especially when sleeping out of your car, the curtain itself. So as we kind of talked about, 41 and a half inches with nails on the ends. Again, these are pillowcases kind of sewed a little hem in, stick one on one side, one on the other side, all right? And just a little hole at the end for the nail to kind of stick through, all right? And these are gonna kind of go in your front seat. All right, so we got the curtain set up. We're gonna go ahead and put them in their place. So right here where the kind of the door meets, I'm just gonna take that nail and stick it in there like so, all right? Then I'm gonna go to the other side, like so. There we go. Nice little curtains. I can kind of open or close. Cool, right? Cheap, easy, and really simple.